what is up youtube welcome back to the channel before we get into this video i would like to wish everyone a happy new year i promise i will be consistent this time and give you guys more content to actually watch you can't keep getting away with it if you didn't achieve your goals in 2023 we go again this year right so anyways i was scrolling on linkedin as usual minding my own business and i bump into this post this is a post not by any of my connections but i've seen it because one of my connections liked it and this connection is trayvon duncan right cool friend of mine hacker he works at ea if i'm not mistaken and um yeah he's a offensive security engineer if you don't know him go give him a follow he has a youtube channel as well i'll link it in the description he liked this post right so i'm like let me read this post and it says nuclear or nuclear however you pronounce it plus ai equals money here's how to use ai and nuclear to make money right run nuclear first of all if you can use a server or any kind of droplet that would be great use them and run nuclear on a large number of subdomain nuclear config max number of templates to be executed in parallel right number of hosts to be analyzed in parallel per template and then rate limit number at least he added the rate limit number because you don't want to just bang on people's infrastructure even though you have the permission to hunt on there right and i looked at this i'm like i don't like this i do not like it at all because it looks like you're just farming for low-hanging fruit right to me that's what it looked like straight off the bat you're just running templates and you probably don't even know what they do just to farm for low-hanging vulnerabilities are you getting into the nitty-gritty of each vulnerability you find are you weeding out the false positives manually how exactly are you then submitting your findings right are you getting into the nitty-gritty and trying to escalate whatever xxs you might find whatever sequel you might find from low from medium to high to critical right are you actually writing good reports with a lot of technical detail that will allow the person on the other end who's triaging this to benefit and actually reproduce this in a timely manner and then are you also submitting any help for patching etc right or are you just shooting out generic reports and hoping to make a couple hundred bucks if not maybe low thousands i guess right how much is xss i don't know but is that what's happening that seems to be how this post came off to me but i was like there's no way trevon liked this right why would he like this is there more to it are you technically going from such bug hunting right because now it just seems like you're spamming stuff and you probably don't even know what the nuclear template does that was my thinking at first so i hit him up i was like broski i saw you liked this post what is going on what is, what's your take on this thing and so let me just show you what he said real quick okay so this is basically the conversation him and i had i said broski i hope you're good i saw this post i saw you liked this post on linkedin and i want to do a video on it what's your take on such automation right is it actually beneficial for technical growth which was my concern or is it more so a money grab by just finding low findings right by just submitting low findings and then i sent him the link etc so he's like it depends i think the automation part of it is beneficial on both ends it just depends on what your intentions are are you just trying to farm low hanging fruit or are you actually getting into the weeds of what you're doing and then he goes on to say if you understand the conditions for a vulnerability and have your payloads pre-developed to test such conditions developing a nuclear template with that payload would automate your workflow and save you so much time true right are you actually using your own templates or are you just picking stuff from github that you have no clue what it actually does or do you at least look at what it does and use it for your use case instead of just wasting time spamming stuff and then he says imagine developing a payload that leads to a cve right then turning that payload into a nuclear template then using that template during an assessment or while bug hunting you get a chance to increase your technical abilities and understanding all while making money win-win and i was like okay fair 
Now I see why you liked this post. This is how you were thinking about it. I personally was just thinking you're spamming random stuff you don't know about and you're hoping to find some low findings and submit them for a few two, three, four, five hundred, six hundred dollars. Right? Which, if that's what you're doing, do you? I don't really care, honestly. But yeah, we continued. And I was like, okay, I see you are leaning more towards developing your own scripts and tooling. What of those that just spam templates made by other people? That's obviously not very productive, but what do you have to say about that? And he said, nothing wrong with using other people's templates. That's what they're there for. And um, I'd put a caveat on that and say, nothing wrong with using other people's templates as long as you know what they're doing. Because spamming stuff from companies' infrastructure isn't the best thing to do if you're actually trying to help the company because now you might bring down stuff that's critical and look at you right you're just that guy and from other programs you get kicked off based off like your ip and whatever and of course there's rate limitings on most platforms and they use cloud pairing etc so your ip might just get blocked but if that's not the case and you spam 10,000 nuclear templates just because you don't know what they're doing <sighs> Come on, bro. Do better. Stop it. Get some help. Right. And then he goes on to say, but oftentimes if you're working in an enterprise environment and have systems that are set up a specific way, you likely have to craft your own payload to get the results that you want. So, yeah, this could lead to some technical growth if you are working on understanding what the template is doing, if you're using someone else's templates or creating your own templates based on the research you've done, based on the vulnerabilities you found, based on the scope, based on the information you have about your target. It helps. And I guess that's the point of the post considering you had like 490 something reactions, right? And so, excuse me for fuming, you can benefit from using automation, AI, nuclear, all that stuff. As long as you understand, just don't be that guy that spams scripts they don't understand. Don't be a script kitty. Anyways, happy new year. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.